Hello and welcome to this weather update. It's a little afternoon on July 10th, 2018, and you hear we are here we are looking at a observation of from Farmingdale, and it's hot today. It's hot, but it's a little more humid, but not like it was. Uh, so uh, 87 degrees at Farmingdale, and I actually have the forecast forecasted to get up to 93 degrees today at Farmingdale. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Actually, no, that says for Jericho. So, uh, um, this forecast is not for the observation site, it's for the town here by clicking on that map. Uh, so, we go out east, it's a lot cooler on the south shore today. So, the Gabreski Airport is 81 degrees uh, and uh, a lot cooler there. But if we head in the hotter, in the, in the hotter direction, or we go to Tom's River where it's 90 degrees. Uh, interesting though, they have the high reaching 90. So, it's definitely going to go above that in Tom's River. So I, I don't understand why they <laughs> the the forecasts are the way they are. I think it's going to go a little hotter than that. I think the 93 should be more for Tom's River, not so much for Jericho, uh, because it should start dropping as the sea breeze intensifies. Uh, and we go to New York City, 88 degrees. Again, the dew point's not too bad though, 58 degrees. So it's not that you. It's a little humid today, but not terribly humid. Uh, they have it getting up to 93 there, uh, and we're going to actually go to the one to ground site now uh, for Mineola, uh, and uh, it's 94, it says it's 94 in Mineola, I don't know if it's that hot, but what I can do is, Wonder Map does not work, but I can, I can, t I, I can actually display a map over here of the temperature, so if you look over here, um, in the left part of your screen here, uh, you should see the temperatures uh, we'll go we'll go over Mineola uh, in the middle of the island. So you can see we got some 90s over here in on on in Mineola here, 93, 97, 91, uh, 101. No, that's definitely not accurate. Um, but uh, you can see the middle of the island is pretty hot, and the North Shore as well. But if we look at the South Shore again, uh, and this is why I really miss living on the South Shore is in the summer because if we go and we look at Belmore and Wontaw, you could see that it is 83 degrees in Belmore, and right on the water there, 76. So it's a lot cooler on the South Shore. It's a lot cooler on the South Shore, uh, and uh, it's something that uh, I really miss about living on the South Shore. And I still uh, I haven't lived on the South Shore now in how many years? Oh my God, it's been many, many years. Uh, 77 in Long Beach. Um, Right at the beach, it's even cooler. It's in the um, it's in the seventies. Ah, <coughs> Seventy-five at West Gilgo Beach. Seventy-four at uh, so you have seventies there, right on the water, which is really nice. In Pavlon, it's in the upper seventies. Um, so this is how I can find uh, go over the uh, map here and show you the temperatures. It's going to take a longer time, but. At least there's a way to do it. See, it loads here, but it won't load on the Wonder Map site. You can see 70s here, but if you go north, it's more into. The, uh, it's a lot warmer. It's a good five to seven to eight degrees warmer. Uh, and you can see, actually, if you look on the map here. You got 91 in. Uh, looks like uh, in Smithtown, and then if you go down here to Sayville, it's 73. So that's uh, like a good f over. 15 degree, um, 15 degree difference there, so uh, that is uh, the difference between living on the South Shore where it's nice and cool, and living inland on Long Island. And now the rest of it won't load. So uh, at least I got to show you some of it. it. Looks like it has stopped loading. Now let me see if we can get it to work again. Now, all right, we got it to work again. All right, I want to go a little further out east here into the Pine Barrens. Uh, look at the temperatures. Today is one of those days where you're going to have temperature variations, which is, which makes it interesting. So in the mid 80s in the Long Island Pine Barrens, and if we go out to the Forks, you'll see it's probably cool out there too. Yeah, it's in the low 80s. And oh man, look at over here, 71, 72 at Napiog. Oh man, <laughs> what a difference, huh? What a difference depends on where you're at. Uh, and we have west now. We go in the other direction. You see, we got 90s once we head over New York City. Uh, 90s most everywhere in New York City. Um, upper 80s, low 90s. But again, if you go um, all on the Rockaways here, they got that sea breeze. So it's 81, 79. 
Um, and we'll go to our usual hot spot here. Tom's River. Tom's River. Tom's River is yeah in the 90s as well. And actually, they do have a little... Sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes they can get a sea breeze right on the barrier island, but it's not as uh, strong of an effect uh, because of the orientation of the coast. Uh, so uh, that is going to wrap up this weather update. Uh, yeah, as days like this, I really do miss living on the South Shore. And one of the things that uh, you know, as I get older, my body seems to have less of lots of a tolerance to the heat. But you know the way it is. They're never going to let me live down there, even if I wanted to. Which I really don't, but, uh, you know, the things I do miss about it. And the summertime is one of those things where it's just a lot cooler there, you know. Um, but anyway, um, that is going to be it for this weather update. Stay cool. Stay cool if you're inland or, or head to the South Shore. And I'm probably going to have to head to the South Shore again today. That's it. <laughs>